to do it. Can everyone that has not put in their real name, please put in the chat what they have registered their name as mm -hmm. when signing up for this mm -hmm. course? Just so we know who you are. Minecraft. So, um, laptop admin <laughs> and the period, can you please let us know uh, who you signed up as? Diego. Diego. Laptop admin is Diego. Yes. Welcome, Diego. Hi. <laughs> Habla hey. espanol? A little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. And who's Dot? <laughs> Dot, your <laughs> microphone is muted. I'm going to unmute you. Oh, I can't. I'm not the administrator. <laughs> Dot, we need to know who you are. Hello. We want to oh. know who you are. I'm Kai. I'm sorry, say again. Kai. Kai. Okay. Yeah. All right, Kai, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Shall we begin, Meg? Yep. Um, if we could wait a few more minutes, maybe two minutes, and then we can begin. Also, for those who have not yet told me who they are, um, MJ Miss 1967, will you please let me know what your name you registered as? Um, Alexandra. Uh, can you put it in the chat, please? Thank you. Just so we know who's here. Thank you, Mel. That's all registered at. Thanks, I'm not Okay, I think we're gonna wait, wait one more minute to see who else comes because I still see people showing up. While we're waiting, um, <clears throat> did I understand that you've been? Uh, uh, um, <clears throat> You've been working on, on Minecraft for eight years. Oyen, you've been working on Minecraft for eight years. Me? Us, while we're waiting for others to join, tell us about some of the Minecraft inventions you've built. What's the most complicated? Oh, and you like to share while we're waiting for the rest to join? Oh, oh sorry. Um, okay. So, I usually like building houses and sometimes temples and maybe vehicles and some redstone. Some redstone? Good. Uh, good. Not too good at redstone, but uh, not too good. Oh, I, I, I still know how to use them. <laughs> Okay, I think that we're all here. People might still be filtering in, but I think a good time now would be to start. Okay. All right. Welcome to Build Yourself Lab. I'm I'm John. I'm Chief Engineer at Build Yourself. And I'm gonna hand off the ball to our Minecraft gurus, Brent and Julian. Julian. Hey, what's up, you guys? 
So let's um let's start by showing you a little bit about Build It Yourself. So I'm Brent, technical director, and I'm going to bring up the Build It Yourself site to show you guys some of the other projects that we work with before we get into the Minecraft project. So at Build It Yourself, we have a bunch of art and technology projects that span three categories. We have contraptions, computer projects, and robotics. So we have things like building soapbox racers, setting up your lab, creating flying machines, which can be bottle rockets um, and gliders, where you'll learn the physics of flight. Chain reaction machines, which will be the most complicated way you ever do anything simple. And uh, lots of fun projects here. Um, under our computer projects, we have different software and programming projects. We teach 3D graphics. We teach different scratch projects too, like we make cartoons in Scratch, we make computer games, and we even do voice recognition. Minecraft, like this workshop, web design, um, emoji creation, and more. And for anyone who likes robotics, we have a few robotics workshops, including Robots That Earn Money, where we use Arduino. And we actually create a robot that runs off of like uh, either money input, like quarters, dollar bills. And you can make it do some really cool stuff to get some money. Um, experimental theater, where you set up your own show. Uh, we have um, time machines, where we have like clocks that will actually wake you up, um, do some really cool things, like tickle you with a feather, squirt you with a water gun, and more. So if you ever want to check out our site, um, feel free, and then contact LHG to see more. All right, so with that, um, let's move on to introducing our project for today. So at Build It Yourself, we always have a problem and mission. Would anyone like to read the problem? Does anyone feel comfortable enough reading uh, the problem for us? Yes. Go for okay. it. Every good engineer, before you build, guys, if you want to be an engineer, you got to define the problem and the mission. Bob, would you like to start? What's the problem? Our land is barren but has potential. We dream about being an advanced civilization. Perfect. Okay. All right. And anyone like to read the mission? Uh, Chloe, I how could. about you? Oh. oh, excuse me, not Chloe. <laughs> Donovan, you, Chloe Donovan you feel comfortable? Yeah, I can say it. Go so for it, yeah. The mission is to develop a civilization with uh, way cool art, culture, and inventions. Thanks, Donovan. Right. Mm -hmm. So you guys are kind of getting it at this point. Brent, what do we have uh, for these guys to do? All right, so... What does that mission entail? That mission is going to entail building some really cool stuff. So with the architecture project, we're going to teach you guys, like today we're going to work on entranceways. We're going to build cool laboratories. We're going to um, build monuments and statues. We're going to create different <gasps> art and inventions that will help create a world that's worthy of the title Advanced Civilization. So I think what would be really cool is if we show you guys a Minecraft world that we build in. Um, Julian, can I pass you the screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, I'll talk you guys through uh, the world we set up. So first of all, um, obviously, based on our mission, we're here to build, right? So our goal um, is not going to be to survive. It's not going to be to fight off the mobs. It's going to be to represent our values, our ideas, as cool as we can um, using creative mode. So um, the world that I've set up is pretty ideal for building. This is the headquarters here. Uh, the headquarters is pretty straightforward. Looks like we got some uh, rainy weather. I'm just going to clear it out. So. Uh, the headquarters is where we can teleport to all of our builds from. Whenever you come into the world, uh, this should be the spawn point. I know some of you said you were getting in and this isn't the spawn point. We'll worry about that when that happens. Um, and I am seeing some people joining the server right now. Do your best not to worry about getting into the server just yet. We'll fix, you know, we'll worry about everybody getting in as soon as we get started. Right now, let's just kind of look at the world, get a handle for what, uh, you know, the rules are in the server. So anyways, this is where you guys will be able to go to your build sites from. We also have um, the Redstone Library over here. 
So if you're interested in redstone, if you want to see some cool contraptions that you can build, definitely encourage you guys to go check this out. Um, over here, we've got the jail. Um, we'll talk about rules in a second, but I don't think anybody really wants to end up in there. And over here, we've got the Hall of Fame. These are things that people who have been with Build It Yourself in the past have made, um, and they're all really, really cool, um, or way cool, as we put it, uh, creations. So these are the kinds of things that we would like you guys to build. These are here for your inspiration. And if you guys make stuff that uh, is really cool or way cool, we're gonna put it into the Hall of Fame in the future to inspire other people. Now, that being said, let's jump over to the, wor the worlds you guys will be building in. Um, really simple rules on the server. Uh, firstly, uh, just like in real life, you guys wanna respect the laboratory you're using. So any place you're building and our spaces here, we expect you to respect and build on uh, without griefing or anything like that. And really, we want you to use your imagination, right? So um, this is the size of a build plot. It's pretty big. You can see that you've got neighbors. Um, I specifically made it so that people aren't connected uh, just in case like people build into each other's plots, but you guys can talk to each other and we welcome teamwork here. So if you wanna build together and create something bigger, you are totally welcome to do that. Um, and you'll see that it's uh, quite a bit of room for you to fill up. You'll also notice at the corners, we've got these structures here. These are to help us get back to headquarters. So if you ever need to go back, if you wanna check something out in the Redstone library, that's where you would do it. Um, and honestly, it's easy to get to other people's stuff from here too. So if you wanna go visit one of your friends and help them out, you can find their teleporter and you can head there. Now, one thing about the uh, plots, you'll notice that each teleporter has a different colored clay to it. There are 16 plots. We're gonna be assigning you guys um, a build plot with a partner and you guys will be able to take over any uh, part of that land, right? So anywhere, so for example, this is the yellow land, right? So anywhere here, where I see the yellow border, that's okay for me to build on. Anywhere else, that might be somebody else's creation. And, you know, obviously we need to talk to them uh, for that. So that's our world, really. And you can, you can see right now, the problem and mission are really true. It's barren, and we want you guys to fill it with your cool creations. And we want those creations to ultimately be a part of our Hall of Fame and our larger collection of Minecraft. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the world. What do you guys think? Nice, yeah, I see a lot of thumbs up. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I would love to build. Nice, all right. Uh, it is so I am super I excited to, to just, you know, build in there. Yeah, we want you guys. One minute is better than staying for an entire day in high pixel. Yeah, that, that's kind of the thing. We want you guys to really set the tone, right? You go into a server like Hypixel, you don't have control of anything. You're kind of just experiencing this thing. We want to make you guys the inventors. We want to give you the ability and the, the knowledge to make something like that, right? Um, Brent, do you want to talk a little bit about the project we're going to crack into? Muted right now, man. Thank you. <laughs> There's some background noise. Um, okay, so today what we're going to be working on is the entranceway. So if we build a way cool lab, way cool statues, some amazing art and so forth, we want people to go wow when they see the entrance to your place. So like, have you guys ever been to Disneyland? I've been there only once in my life when I was four. <laughs> More than me. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> like when you came into it? Like the, um, the, even just the entrance as you are, as you got to Disney. Um, do you remember how cool the entranceway was? No. All right. Oh, are you in chat? Hold on, let me see. Oh, too little? All right. So basically, these are some images from Disney. And I think, you know, when you arrive there, you just think it's like a magical place, even from the outside before you walk in. Um, and this this is um, an archway in the middle that's um, 
So like all of these, I think they're like really intricate and they draw interest immediately. So in Minecraft, check these out. What do you guys think about that top example? Entrance by going up a tongue of a dragon. Do you think that would draw attention? Brent, you gotta switch slides. We're not caught up yet. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, do you see yep. the dragon now? Yep. All right, um, what do you guys think about that dragon going up the tongue into the entrance? Is that cool? Yeah, yeah it's cool. cool. Right. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's very long. And then, um, mm -hmm. so like what we're going to do now is show you some tricks for creating entrance ways for your own place. Mm -hmm. So when we build, we have measures of success. So five plus materials, unique shapes. You need to size your build. Mm -hmm. Stay big enough for details, but if you make it so big and you don't like actually have time to finish it, it's not going to look very cool. It's going to look like you built like a tall wall and gave up. So already size your build to what you want to make and then landscape it. Like some trees, <laughs> like some trees around it, vines, mm -hmm. things look really cool. So I'm going to pass the ball back to Julian to just kind of demo some mm -hmm. techniques for building a quick entrance, mm -hmm. right? And then we're going to get you guys into the server. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, so... Mm -hmm. What I'm going to show you guys, and you'll kind of notice this at home Sorry. base, that there's really not um, an entryway. Could we, uh, could we mute uh, some of the microphones, by the way? We're getting a lot of um, background noise. But, so you'll notice that the um, uh, entrance of headquarters here, we're kind of we've got an empty space. We can really spruce it up a bit. So um, down here, what I've done is I've already added some diamonds so that I can take a beacon and put it down there. So we can start to kind of get a feel for where we're gonna build. So I'm gonna build an archway right around here. You don't have to build the beacons in, but I think a beacon kind of does nice uh, when it comes to showing off where your stuff is. So I'm gonna put my pathway back, then I'm gonna start building on top of it. Notice that I've got a bunch of blocks in my inventory already. I would recommend to you guys that as soon as you um, want to get started, you go into the inventory and you kind of think about what colors you wanna build with, what blocks you wanna build with. and my whole inventory inventory bar is filled. I encourage you guys to like get more as opposed to less, right? You don't want to just have stone and uh, glowstone because it's going to end up being a lot less detailed than you might want. So first, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to build the basic structure of uh, what I want to do. And I'm going to just kind of build it up um, to be the height that I want it to be on the sides. So maybe something a little taller than that, two blocks. And I'm gonna build uh, some stuff going out from the front here. So I'm gonna take some blocks of quartz and I'm gonna build a little wall right here. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a sec. Now, uh, one thing that's really cool about um, some of these weirder blocks like stairs is we can do interesting things by kind of layering them. So we can, as opposed to using them as stairs, use them to kind of accent the build and make it look a little bit cooler. So the wall that I just built, as opposed to being like a completely flat wall, now has a little bit of structure to it, right? And I can do the same thing on the backside. For the sake of speed, I'm not gonna do it right now. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna mimic what I did on the other side. And before um, I did six blocks up, so I'm gonna do the same exact thing over here just so that I'm working with symmetry because otherwise, if I don't do that, it might look a little bit off when I try to connect the two sides. Um, yeah, did somebody have a question? I, I hear a microphone got unmuted. Um, I see I see. there's a question. I don't quite know your name. What is your name? Hold on. Uh, someone has a question. Feel free to unmute and, and ask your question. Go for it. Um, how, we, how, how do we make um, wedge? How do we make wedgestone um, stuff that we don't know how to make? And it's not in the Y belly. Um, so you might have to just ask one of us. And also we might point out like how we can learn stuff from tutorials. Because um, mm -hmm. that's, that's where I would learn from, right? <laughs> so right now, like the only answer I could give is hopefully we know. And if not, we'll play it. Uh, we'll figure it out when we get there, right? We always want to help you build whatever you can, though. So... Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start connecting my two sides, right? And notice, as opposed to using a block, 
I use stairs again, because what's nice about stairs is they kind of give us this angled look to it, right? Then I'm gonna come in here with my quartz. I'm gonna kind of build um, a diagonal pathway that connects the other two uh, sides or connects the uh, top. I'm gonna take those blocks out, put some more stairs in here, just uh -huh. kind of give it a nicer shape. I could even take these blocks out and put some stairs in here. And yeah, so all I'm really doing is at this point, now I've got the basic structure, I can just kind of add whatever details I really want, right? I know I want the beacons to be coming out of the top. I might want to add some more structure uh, up here, just just kind of make it look a little bit more complete, a little bit more finished. Um, but this is really where you guys are going to have, you know, a lot of creative freedom. Um, bring in some of those extra blocks that you use, maybe take out something that you already built, replace it with another block and see how it looks, just kind of add a little bit of a difference in there, right? Um, that's kind of all I would suggest. The other thing I would suggest too is use things like water to your advantage. For example, if I wanted to, I could just delete this, put a hole in the ground here, put water down right there. And if we just kind of blocked off the top in a creative way, so maybe we just kind of went like this. Now all of a sudden, let's see, I have to kind of get rid of it and do it again, but you'll see what I'm going for in just a sec. How about wedges? How about wedges? Half blocks. half blocks. Yeah, half slabs work too. Uh, if you are working with a material that has a half slab, like definitely use it to your advantage. Um, water and lava can be nice too for these kind of like flowing effects and you can get some animation in there. So this, what I made is kind of a mess, right? Because I wanted to show you a whole bunch right away. But this is how I would get started. First, just kind of outline where you wanna go, outline the structure and then come in there and put in whatever details you want. Before we get started, how comfortable are people with the controls of Minecraft? Does anyone have any questions about how to find blocks, um, how to place blocks, break blocks, anything like that? Because I know creative mode might be new for people. I do nothing, I don't know what I do. All right, we'll figure it out. If there's no questions right now, we can figure it out as soon as we okay. jump in. So um, don't worry, but yeah, are there questions now? Okay, so next thing is we wanna get you into the world. Um, Brent, I'll let you take over for that part. <laughs> oh, you're muted. Oh, sorry. Thank you. So when we go to log into Minecraft, uh, assuming everyone has their login, you'll get past this screen fast. Um, you just enter your credentials that you created earlier or already have. Um, before you click play like you normally would, you want to go to installations. Installations is in the top, and our server runs on version 1.11.2. So when you click on, let me go full screen so it's easier to see. When you click on installations, it will bring you to this screen. You can click on new, and when you click on new, you'll be able to name it. Um, we just call it build it yourself server, but the name could be anything you'll remember. The version has to be release 1.11.2, and then just click create. If you go back to play, you can now select down here uh, where that yellow arrow is, and you can choose the name that you just created. This will bring you to 1.11.2. Um, you guys um, are know Minecraft well enough that you know it's gonna pop up a Mojang, disappear and come back. Um, then you can click on multiplayer, add server, and this is our server IP. Um, does anyone have any questions on that? Um, if you're already in Minecraft, you'll have to close it and reopen it, then you can change the, the um, version. Um, one thing, let me just make sure everyone understands. Um, yeah, this works for the Java edition. If you don't have the Java edition, um, yeah, it doesn't connect to the server. So make sure um, that you guys are using the Java edition. To those of you who are asking for the spawn point change, I have tried. You actually have to set your home. Um, we're using a plugin called World Edit. Um, and to set your home, once you get to um, the spawn point, you have to set home. So I can teleport whoever uh, needs to, like get their spawn point changed once they get in, okay? Um, but first just, you know, head in the world. Um, 
let's go over that one more time, um, what Brent said, just in case, because uh, that was kind of fast. So make sure you guys are using version 1.11.2. Um, to do that, when you open the launcher, you have to make sure that you go to your installations and it'll ask you to create a new installation. If anyone gets stuck on that screen, I can show you what to do, okay? Once you get into uh, 1.11.2, you're gonna click on multiplayer and then you're gonna uh, press join server and then add the, or rather add server and add the uh, IP address that Brent is showing here. For the name, you guys can call it whatever you want. Make sure that it makes sense to you though. So it should be something like, you know, build it yourself server or uh, something like that so that you guys know uh, what world you're going into when you go into it. Okay, and in the chat, I'll put the IP address. For those of you who know how to copy and paste, all you have to do is copy and paste this into the IP, like where it asks for the server address, so you don't have to type all that out and look back at Zoom. Um, we've got a few people in chat mentioning that um, they don't have Java edition. Um, Brent, what would you, what, what, what should we, how should we respond to that? Okay. What if we uh, invite them, Julian, to watch uh, you uh, complete your archway? So they can learn from you while the others are building? Um, or they could work locally in the local server? Yeah, I was thinking that would That be might be a better alternative for now, just so that you guys can, sorry for those of you who I teleported back who have already been here, I'm just trying to get other people. Um, yeah, that would be a better alternative because people can, um, people can build on their own despite you know, not being able to get into our server for today. Great, great, great. Oh, press that. Press we respond? If we can't get in, do we just build on our own server? Say that one more time. If we can't get in, do we just have to build on, on our own Minecraft world? That would be ideal for today, and then we can figure out uh, for next time exactly how we can get you into our server, okay? Okay. Great. Please. I mentioned that, Julian, because I respond. love to watch you build. You uh, have a really. Uh, oh sure, yeah, no, I understand. Uh, we'll just bring you back. I want to. Mm -hmm. um, I want to make sure I can help those who might need it as well. Sure. We've also got some server side stuff. I got to make sure. Of. Sure. Um, let me just see who's in our world right now who hasn't been able to uh, get to the headquarters yet. Has anyone not been able to get over to headquarters? I can teleport you now. Um, I'm in it, but my respawn point is in the void. Okay, what's your username? Uh, Ninjasaki101. All right, let me know when you respawn, okay? Okay. Tell me when and I'll... I I'll just help. did right now. All right. Oh, I'm, I just missed you. Do it one more time. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. Got you. I'm also spawning yeah, in the can, void. Yeah, you can fly for everybody who is spawning in the void. Just tap, uh, double tap space, and then I can teleport you over to headquarters. When you get to headquarters, you're gonna wanna type on your keyboards slash home so that you guys will respawn right here and you won't have to worry about it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna teleport anyone I haven't teleported right now. Um, so I'm gonna first teleport, um, I, I don't know how to say it exactly, but I at Kesem, I'm gonna teleport you. Don't teleport me. I'm already uh, in the build part. Of the, I'm sorry, I'm okay. building already. Okay, what's your username so I don't teleport you? Ah. What's what's your username so I don't teleport you? Whoever just requested that. Uh, S A N E Y O U S Sandios. Okay, got I'm it. That's um, why I have that username. I don't worry. <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't uh, teleport you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do Kiwi. Now. All right, Kiwi Mike, you should set your home now. Um, how do we go to our Minecraft world without leaving the meeting? Um, oh, if you open Minecraft, Zoom won't close. You should be okay to open Minecraft without Zoom. Okay, I just don't know how to get to my Minecraft world doing this. Um, uh, what kind of device are you on? Maybe Brent could walk you through that. I'm on a computer. Um, what type of computer? Like, do you have a Windows and Mac? Um, we can help you check if you don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, dear. No, because I don't know where the... 
Oh, with, I, found, um, I found it. If the screen goes like full screen, like if one of us are sharing, if you double click the screen, you should get like the um, close, minimize, and maximize buttons again. Um, and then you can minimize Zoom, and then you should be able to use your desktop like normal. Anytime our window pops up like full screen on your screen, just double click the screen and it should go back. Um, alternatively, if that doesn't work, um, let me just try to go full screen. Yeah, basically um, in the top right, there's usually like an exit full screen too, if Zoom is filling up your screen. Um, so if you did go full screen on your own, um, there's like a little icon, almost like when you change a YouTube video back off a of full screen, similar looking icon to that. All right. Does that help? Just one second before we continue that, um, we'll make sure to get you the help you need in one sec. I want to make sure everyone else who's already in uh, can get started building. So I want to make sure that you guys have a build site. Um, so I'm just going to go down the list and just give you guys a site uh, for now. Uh, hold, just hold on one. Oh, I cleared out because you guys start with a default inventory. So I cleared it out. Okay. Alexandrite, um, 1967. You will be over at Yellowland. Um, BIY Ocelot, you will be over at Orange Land. Uh, Akesim, I think that's how we say it. Achesim, Akesim, you will be at Redland. Um, H. Fewer, you will be at Pinkland. Kiwi Mike, you will be at Light Grayland. Ninjaski, you will be at Ninjasaki, you will be at Brownland. Sandios, head over to Grayland, and anyone else who joins. Oh, I already started building on light blue. Oh, okay, no, no, no. Then claim light blue. That's fine. Who, who is that? Me. What's your username Are in you? Minecraft? Okay, so keep it. That's fine. So, um, that means that Sandios is on light blue. So in the future, we'll just remember that. Everyone okay. else, the land I gave you. The, most of them will be over on this side of the headquarters where you see me now. Most of those teleporters will be over here unless you're um, Sandios. Let's just post that. Um, Let me know if you have any questions about controls or anything like that. Does teleport, all you have to do is step on the pressure plate for your land. Does anyone have brown? Um, yeah, brown land is taken. Um, so let's get back to that question of getting people in local worlds who might not be able to get into the server, Brent. Right, I don't know so who was asking earlier, but I want to make sure that we can get them into a local world. I'm not familiar with the Bedrock, like the, the regular like Windows 10 and like console edition, but I assume it's like a similar enough screen that when you come into the game, just click on single player. The menus might look slightly different um but it will be the same process then click on so you start a single player game create new world as if you were going to play minecraft normally but when you go to do this um when you've you know set the world uh, like the game mode you want to choose creative creative will give you unlimited everything um and it will make sure that you're not being attacked by zombies and your stuff's getting blown up um and also go to more world options and I believe, let's just see if there's anything else we should set. A second. Uh, so, so, Brent, so, Brent, I think it's going to actually be a lot different on Bedrock Edition. I pulled it up on my screen. Gotcha. Um, Let me stop. Um, yep. So, for those of you on Bedrock Edition, um, go to where it says play. Um, and you'll have to create a new world, as Brent is saying. Um, let's see if we can find a screen for that. Um, no, but whatever world you create, just make sure that you're in creative mode um, and you can set the world to super flat and you should be fine. So just hit play, make sure your world is in creative mode, make sure that your world type is super flat and you should be good to go. Um, I, d I don't have Bedrock Edition. Either. What do you have, Anderson? I don't have any um, thing, I just have normal Minecraft. In my Minecraft, I can't. I have a different Minecraft than you guys have. 
Yeah, so what what type of Minecraft, normal Minecraft is the Java edition. So if you say normal Minecraft, that means that you uh, might be using the, uh, key, a computer edition, right? Like with, yeah, uh, I'm okay. yeah, okay. So that's the version we're using. Uh, we just need to make sure that we're launching in the correct version number, um, which also can be done. Started. Say that again, Anderson. Also, I, have a, I have also, also, I already kind of started a bit. Oh, 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 okay. You've already started building? Yeah. Okay, don't let us stop you from doing what you're doing, okay? Um, mm -hmm. That sounds good, as long as you're able to start working. Anyone else having issues connecting to the server who's trying to get in? Now's our ch chance to kind of address those. What's annoying about not having a mouse is that sometimes you accidentally break blocks instead of pla placing them. I agree with that, yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed you're playing Minecraft without a mouse. Hi, excuse me? Uh, yes. Hi, so Lev, he got, it was frozen, and so now he's back in, but, uh... I usually play in Pocket Edition. Okay, so are you used to the controls, Lev? Nope. All right, that's fine. Edition. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do, you're looking at my screen, right? Yeah. All right, so in Minecraft um, on the computer, the first thing you want to do is put your right hand on the mouse. The mouse controls all of your camera controls. So anywhere I put my mouse, that's where my character is going to look. Then if I want to move, I'm going to put my hands on four keys. I'm going to put my uh, middle finger here on the W key, and I'm going to put my ring finger on the A key and my index finger on the D key. The, those four keys, the W key, is like a forward arrow. So when I press W, I move forward. When I press D, I go to the right. When I press A, I go to the left. And when I press S, I go back. So now with those two things combined, I can move around, right? If I go forward, what's and up left? And if you're floating, how do you go up? Oh, uh, so you press space two times to start flying, and then space again to go up. If you want that to end, you can double tap space or you can press shift and you'll lower yourself to the ground. To get into your inventory, you'll press E and then you can select blocks from there and put them down uh, here. When you have blocks, you're gonna use your mouse again to break blocks and place blocks. Hello, Ninja Saki. So to break a block, you would left click on your mouse Mm -hmm. To place a block, you would right click on your mouse. Okay. And what color um, am I again? Um, what was your username? I'm H Viewer. Okay, so you were, hold on, I'll head back because I'll remember if I actually am looking at it. So you were Redland. Okay. So once you get into the, uh, the headquarters, you're going to want to go over to the left side, and you'll find the red land teleporter. Okay. Uh, what should I build? Oh, Diego, we're starting with the archway, um, like the entryway to our land. So the first mm -hmm. thing you should try to think of is like, what is the feeling of the land that you want to go for? Is it like, you know, really um, like majestic? Is it going to be kind of like, you know, um, let's say like, more dark, more light, like think of the colors you want to go for, the tone you want to go for. And then um, from there, think about what it would feel like to enter that world and what you might want to put at the entrance. And that's what Wait we're going to try to create. I know, what I'm, I know what I'm making now. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, someone else had a question. I heard a voice. I just don't know who um, that was. So, so by world edit, do you mean like the wooden axe thingy? Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Except, um, it you... well, me yeah. and Brent are, uh, command, we're admins on the server. So you guys might not have the ability to use it right now. Um, the thing is, if we allowed everyone to use world edit, we'll get into a situation where like we make an edit that either like is kind of not necessarily a mistake, but like could crash the server. We've had problems in the past with that kind of stuff. So we've restricted it to admins only, unfortunately. But that being said, I can help you guys do stuff through WorldEdit. 
Um, I see a hand from a dad. I don't, I don't know your name. What's up? <laughs> uh, this is Ty. I'm Nick. Hey, um, what's okay, up? so we were having issues and we couldn't get joined. We're at the single player sign in place. Cool. Yeah. Got, okay. Yeah, you can go. So, did you try multiplayer? Did you try to log into uh, the IP address that we we've set no, up? No, is that how I do it? Multi. That would be good. Yeah, yeah. Head to multiplayer and then find the button that says Add Server. You want me to share the PowerPoint? Uh, yeah, yeah. Go for it, Brent. Um, in the chat, what you guys are going to want to find is the IP address. Let me let me actually paste it for you because it's quite a bit back now. Hold on. All right, I'm going to paste it in chat right now. You guys are going to want to take uh, this address and put it into where it says server address. You can just copy and paste it. Um, and for the name, give it any name that really makes sense for you because um, it's going to be in your list, right? So you want to make sure that whenever you look at that list, you know exactly what yeah. server you're clicking on. Um, no. Did you switch the version to 1.11.2? No, that's not. Yeah, Ty, it might, it might give you an issue. It might say um, our server is at version 1.11.2. Tell us if that comes up for you, okay? I've got a uh, red craft bucket 1.112. Yeah, okay. So what that means is um, we, when you launch Minecraft, you automatically launch it in the latest version. We need to go back to version 1.11.2. Um, Brent, do you have Minecraft like the launcher on your screen or should I? I do. Okay, cool. So Brent's gonna share like the launcher and show you guys how to get into your version. Okay. And I'm gonna see, there's some people. Um, Alexandrite, um, we could always lend a hand if you want some help from us. Um, my suggestion to you is first pick out the blocks that you wanna use. Sometimes that helps you to think about the direction you'll go in. Um, um, I can't. So what you want to do? Uh, the, oh, go ahead. Well, Donovan uh, had a question there. I just want to make sure we at least know what it is. What's up, Donovan? Yeah, I can't find a Minecraft launcher on my computer, which is weird. I can't. Oh, do you have, um, are you on a user uh, that has admin privileges? Because you could download it right now. Oh, sorry, I just didn't mind. No, it's fine. Yeah. Did you say yes to that? Um, can you repeat again? Oh, yeah. I just wanted to know if you were on um, an account on the computer where you can... I have, a, I have an account. Like, on, do, like um, on the computer that you can install stuff with. Is that possible? Because we could just download it right now. Oh, you can download it? Okay, I can try. Yeah, I'll get the link for you. Hold on. I don't have it, so... That's fine. Yeah, let's. Well, so you can download it. And um, what are we doing with uh, login credentials, Brent? You'll be able to speak to that more than I can. Uh, the login? Um, because... Yeah, I, I don't know if Donovan, do you have an account, Donovan? Yeah, I have an account. I have an account. Oh, okay, okay. So that, that link I sent. Uh, yeah, all right. That'll get you to download the launcher. You can just install Here's it and then. We can't even use potions. Uh, yeah, so in the past, we've had issues where people would spam splash potions oh, run around the yeah. server and spam speed splash potions. And the issue there was that it would just cause so much lag that people couldn't actually build. So we just had to say, all right, well, if we're in creative mode, what are we using uh, potions for, you know? Okay, I installed Minecraft Launcher. Bye. Who's right, right next to me? Um, it could be me. I, I'm flying around and looking at, at lands. Um, it might not be, though. I'm at Kiwi Mike's right now. Wait, who's Sandios? Sandios, I think, is Bowen, yeah? Yep. Uh -huh. So, Ty, um, were you guys able to get the version to 1.11.2? No, we're, we're in the... Uh, we're at the place where it says installation, but I can't find... Yeah. Oh, there's a version number somewhere in there. Like you'll see 1.15 point something because that's like the latest one. If you click that, it'll pop a list up. You can scroll down the list and it'll go through the previous versions. You want to look for uh, 1.11.2. And then once you select it, um, you can save that installation and launch from it. Yeah, there's like a plus sign um, that says new kind of in gray too. So if you miss that, you'll just get a blank screen besides the single. Yeah, good point. <laughs> good point, Brent. <Prim. laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't make it pop. <laughs> so if you click new, and then um, you'll get that 
um, the menu where you can choose a version and there's a drop down and you got to scroll pretty far. Um, but don't scroll too fast. I'm guilty of doing that sometimes. Okay, it's kind of not that far down actually. Like maybe two mouse rolls. If that's a unit of measure, I think it should be. Then um, name it, something you'll remember when you find it. How's it going, guys? Were you able to um, get that version? Well, we're still at edit installation. I'm sorry. You know what? No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Are you on the computer that um, you're in Zoom in? Because we could just share your screen and, and take a look. Oh, yeah. Sure. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. That's a great idea. Uh, where do I do? Where do I give you? Control? All right. Yeah. So um, on Zoom, if you put your mouse over to the uh, to the green button that says Share Screen, if you click that, yeah, you got it. All right. Cool. Okay. So let's click on um, click the X at the top. Yeah. Cancel this one. We don't want to edit this one. We're going to add a new one at the top left. There, you're going to see New. Click that. Then um, you can name it like Build It Yourself uh, version, just to make it really clear for yourself. And then where, where it says version, click there. You're going to want to scroll down just a little bit, not too, too much, till you see 1.11.2. Yeah, so just below that it should be. Yeah, like right about there. Really like, sorry I'm taking up all this time. I mean, don't be sorry. <laughs> Once you guys get connected, you're all good, right? So like this sets you up, and then you, you're just good to go from then on. Um, for, the, for the game directory, delete that bit. Um, yeah. that, that just means like where are we gonna save the worlds you create here? So you do wanna just use the default. Um, go ahead and press create. Whoever's throwing snowballs at me, I'm gonna ask you to just uh, stop that. I'm trying to help other people out. Sandios, head back to your world. You know what you should be doing right now. <laughs> okay, so BIY. Um, yeah, so BIY. So head back to, yeah, you can just hit play. Yeah, just hit play from there. It'll take a second because it might have to download it and install yep. it. But then after that, you'll be able to uh, like go into multiplayer and paste the server address and everything and uh, you'll okay. be in. Okay. Uh, I need some help, please. Yeah, yeah. Um, so who needs help? That, who was that? Me. Um, my bad, who's me? <laughs> Bowen, yeah, okay. Go for it, yeah. Uh, so. Here, I'm right over here. I might I'm, have I'm... made my uh, entrance kind of thin. Kind of thin? Nar narrow, it's too narrow. Yeah, um, I don't know about that. I mean, it's pretty wide in my opinion. Why do you think it would be need, need to be bigger? I mean, like, this part doesn't make me feel too good. Which part, like this top part? Yeah, it's mm. just... What do you think? Is, uh, is it like too thin for you or something like that? Yeah, it's too thin. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Sometimes it's okay to just like start over. Why don't we take some <laughs> of this out and like from right about here, like these blocks here, we can think about how we might want it to get connected. Um, hold on. Like, Zoom can you kind of edit it to just like paste it over there a bit? Um, yeah, I want to kind of like refrain from that too, too much. I want to like see what we can do with what we've already got. I don't want us to like throw out something that like is a pretty good start. So I would encourage you first, like let's get it to a point where you're happy with it. Then we can worry about like rearranging it and stuff. Let's see what we can do though for this top part because I agree that like we could make it a little bit more robust, right? Yeah. What could we do? Maybe I could just do this and then do like this, be like here and just. Yeah, no, no. I think we can totally add something there, right? Like for example, you've got the stairs right here that just kind of end the archway, but we could also continue the archway and make it sort of 3D. Um, for example, um, like if we go like this, right, we're already kind of adding that third dimension to oh. it and kind of chunking it out, right? So maybe that's like the direction you might want to go in. And the half slabs, honestly, I like what you're doing here. If we add those in, looking pretty good in my opinion. Hold on. Colors too could help at this point, oh. but I think like just doing stuff like that would uh, be a good start. Hold on. And then the last thing too, Bowen, and for everybody out there, the last thing really is like adding decoration to the land. If you look at headquarters, you're going to notice a lot of detail. In I know the there's banners in this. Plants and stuff. Yeah, there's banners. All right, I'm finally on. Nice. So <laughs> right. long. Is there like so, Ty, once you go in, once you go in, fly so I can teleport you to the home base right away, okay? 
Okay. Um, um, Bowen, what were you saying? Like, is there like custom banners in here? Um, you can, you have to make them in the crafting table. That's kind of how uh, banners go. Like you'll have a basic one, um, but you can, you know, put that in the crafting table, add some dye, and then change it around as you please. Um, Ty, you want to type in slash home right now so that if you do fall out of the world or anything, you're going to teleport right back here, okay? Um, oh, hold on. Wait, uh, you mean command? Yeah, like just type in slash on your keyboard. It'll pop up with the text box with a slash okay. at the beginning. And then, uh, yeah, and then do home and then hit return uh, to make oh. it. Yeah, and then you should, see, you should see some text that says like set world or set your home to this. Uh, so now whenever you fall out of the world or anything like that, you'll pop back right here. And okay. if you ever wanted to, like if you're really far away and you wanted to get back really quickly, you could also type slash home and do that. All right. All right, so let's let's get you a land to build in over here. Um, right now, black land is open if you want to head over there. Yes, yes, yes. All right, um, hop in uh, to the headquarters, and you'll see me in front of the teleporter. You just want to step on there with where the pressure plate is. Right in here. Do you see me? Yeah, come yeah, on down. I see you. I'm coming. Black. Yeah, right over here. Up the stairs is the pressure plate. If once you head there, you'll be able to build. Done. Nice. All right. Okay. In a few minutes, if anyone wants to share what they're building, we can pass the ball around on Zoom. Yeah, there's some cool things guys... going on. Yeah, I saw some like the home was using water in their archway. I saw someone else building up some. I think okay, pork, I'm the killers. Okay. Um, Brandon, Julian, okay. um, what if we, um, what if you just uh, yes. uh, go over to where the interesting bills are rather than go Thanks. through the whole sharing? Uh, right. Yeah, what's up, Ty? I want to make something redstone. redstone. Go for it. Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> if you wanna if you wanna incorporate redstone into your archway, that sounds great. Wait, do we have to build an archway? Yeah, well, that's the idea, right? We're trying to build an entryway, but the thing is, okay. that entryway is gonna be, it's gonna serve as everyone's first encounter with your world. So if there's gonna be a lot of redstone in your world, if you're the type of person who wants to uh, experiment with that incorporate some of the things we're going to see in your world into the archway. So if we're going to see pistons, torches, redstone dust, put those things in your archway too um, for decoration just to kind of tell us or show us what your world is going to be like. Okay. Yeah. And that advice goes for everybody, right? Don't take, you know, the colors that I use or the palette that I use. This is really about what you guys want to do and how you want to express yourselves in Minecraft, which I'm sure you guys all kind of have a feel for. Uh, right. Uh, okay. All right. Friend, well, why are you breaking headquarters, friend? <laughs> this is how we teleport places. Me. Oh, what's your name in Minecraft? Um, B I Y Ocelot. Oh, that's you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Akazim, are you not sure how to teleport? Um, Which I'm whose thinking. username is Akazim again? I can't remember. Uh, whose username is Akezim? I can't remember off the top of my head. Or Achezim. Okay, I'm not sure who that is. If you need help, like, controlling things and getting to your world, let us know. Do your best if you get frustrated not to necessarily uh, take it out on the world, right? We're going to do our best to help you out. I can't use an anvil. Uh, that is correct. There was a time when people were doing nothing besides naming swords and giving them out to each other to trade. 
So the anvils have been nixed unless you guys really need it for like a good reason. I'll give you one because I can I can easily put it down your land. What are you trying to use it for? I'm just gonna. I just usually like putting out like people. <laughs> okay, yeah. Just let me know because sometimes if we're making pets and stuff, it's a good idea so they don't despawn. But um. <laughs> If you're doing it for like items and stuff, uh, let's. I, I would encourage you to just kind of like move away from that. I do hear a lot of villagers as well. I would just say, you know, make sure that right now we're worried more about building, less about populating. We're gonna get to a point where our worlds are kind of too full before we have anything even down, right? I've been putting anvils on my floor, anvils on my floor. Oh, you're, yeah, Anderson, that's totally fine um, for you, don't worry. We okay. just want we just want people to not use them in a way that's inappropriate or like distracting because that's what was happening before. Let's paint the picture yeah. of why we have certain things on the server the way they are. Imagine a world with thirty thousand cows running through your house as TNT explodes and people with name swords run by. It's um sometimes the fun things that don't seem like they would lag a server in excess or things that seem like they wouldn't be distracting um, at times distract and it's funny but at the same time like if it's you know when we wind up in a class or like the one-off um, one person's over spawn and one person's like doing something with command blocks that's bad or anvils it just kind of makes it easier to say well that's not that useful for building anyways and we just kind of block it so yeah, um, we're almost out of time. So I want to fly around to a few builds. This build, um, if you guys look at Zoom, is really cool because it has like lily pads, water, and trees. Yeah, nice. There's a lot of attention to detail uh, in this build. And I think that some of you guys who might be wondering how you can take your build further, it's a good, there's a good amount of uh, inspiration in a build like this. Um, Alexandrite, place a wolf. Please don't like go crazy and make like a whole wolf factory. But if you want a pet, that's totally fine. This one's super clean. Um, has a really yeah. feel. Yeah. Oh, Brent, if do you have any advice for Bowen? Because he he was kind of feeling stuck on uh on what to add to this. Alexandrite, that's totally fine. If you just want a friend, absolutely spawn a wolf. On this one. Yeah, yeah. What would you What would you say? What would your advice be? Garden around the outside of it or something. Yeah, um, I think clean and simple is nice. Um, there's mm -hmm. definitely some color in the background and the match the um, colors. Uh, it looks really nice, so I wouldn't want to necessarily make it too. Yeah, busy. I can't place either. You can't what? place what? I can't place blocks either. I can't. Oh, um, what kind of? Are you using a normal mouse tie? Yeah. Um, well, uh, does it have two buttons? Yeah. Um, so what you want to make oh, sure okay, is... No. Okay, okay now yeah. there you go. Yeah, sometimes, like, some mice hide the buttons and it's harder to know what a right or a left click is. Ooh, Ninja Saki, this is looking good. Thank you. That's coming oh, out nice. On. And you know what I like, too, about it, Diego, is that you took the idea of an entryway and did your own spin on it. It's not necessarily an archway, but it's definitely giving me the feel for what your land uh, will be like. Yeah, Alexandra, what kind of help do you need? Oh, is it not working when you spawn? Is that why? That might be a backend server thing. Okay, yeah, so for now, it seems like that ability is turned off. That could be something we change, but not necessarily at the moment. So for now, don't worry about it, but next time we can change it, we can get you your friend, okay? I might even be able to spawn it right now, hold on. I'm almost creeped out at how fast you landscaped, but these trees just does this entrance a lot of justice. <laughs> I don't know how you did that so fast. Like, we look Here. terrain there. I know Alexander, I'll give you a... Uh, oh, sorry, Brent. Go for it. Oh, I just... Uh, I, I know you're growing the trees and stuff, but, like, it's really coming along fast, the landscaping. Uh, go, take it away, Julian. 
I was just going to let Alexandrite know I'm placing an anvil down so you can name the wolf over here. Next to your chest and crafting table, you'll see it. I basically, oh, wait, wait a second, you're at my plot? Yeah, well, I spawned the wolf for you, uh, and then I, I put down the anvil so you can give it wait a Wait a second, I don't, I don't need a wolf. Somebody, well, whoever Alexandrite is, I'm not quite sure who that is. Uh, no problem, Alexandrite. I think he's over that, like. He's on yellow land. Oh, so that, uh, yeah. Mel, it's oh, Mel. Okay. I'm just like using my space for like trees. Cause yeah, Mel, if you want to grab a name tag, you could um, use the anvil over here to uh, give your dog a name, like whatever name you think is good. <laughs> and, um, guys, we're coming up to the actually we're at the end of the hour for the demo. Um, so we wanted to leave you guys with just kind of our Minecraft roadmap. We start with like architectural design. But we work our way up to more complex builds of architecture. And then we also go into redstone, redstone engineering, logic gates, building circuits. Um, so if any of the parents out there um, are engineers, like we actually use like AND gates, OR gates. Um, we create combination locks, have oscillators, build music machines with time in and so forth. Um, and any of you guys that use redstone, if you want to be a redstone pro, uh, we have a lot of really cool redstone content. Um, Please. So, what do you guys think? Um, this is great. Great. Awesome. Glad you guys were able to have some fun with this. Is this Even... only a demo? Or yeah. Is it... <laughs> I think it's like, it's like class. Hold on, but I'm almost it. done. <laughs> yeah, we just want you to get a feel for what a class would look like uh, in this kind of style, right? The so idea is, is to show like you guys now? how to build really cool things, give you guys inspiration, and teach you how to kind of problem solve and innovate along the way. Thanks, Julian. Do you mind if I share a little more info from here? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, thank you to our great instructors. Um, I would just like to share more information about how you can proceed if you really liked this course and want to continue to our eight week class. So I'm just going to share some my screen um, and also open the floor up to any questions that we have. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah. Okay, yeah, go ahead, Bowen. So, uh, uh, after this class, can we still stay in the server, or is the server just going to shut down? So, our server, I think at, like, at some point during the day, will like, automatically save and shut down if no one's using it. Um, when we have classes, we usually just have the kids like email us if they want us to open it. Um, and what we do is, like, we usually have different port numbers, so you'll be able to, like, go into the world whenever, but just, like, shoot us an email when you're in the class, and we can open it. And if you do build very oh, frequently, we could always, like, modify it to stay open. Yeah, and the thing, too, is just make sure, you know, um, if you guys do sign on with us, if you guys are using the worlds, we're always respecting the rules, we're always respecting each other. Um, so yeah, Meg, go for it. What do you want to add? Thank you. Um, so I just shared my screen for anyone that's interested in signing up for this class. We are offering an eight-week session for a discounted price of $199 American dollars. Uh, before it was $249, so you get a bit, little bit of a deal. You can see our dates for this class. It will be at the same time, Monday at 6 p.m. Central Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, any information, you feel free to text me or give me a call. I can answer any of your questions. Um, here's my email here. And yeah. Thank you, everyone, for coming. We really appreciate it. Uh, we also have registered website. And uh, everyone, if you're interested in and uh, you can just so uh, the chat box, the chat box, they have a contact information. And you can just directly click the, the, web, the website link and uh, register for your next class. We will be having a Minecraft Three. class uh, very similar to this one next week at the same time. And this will be a smaller oh, class. My one block. I'm sorry? Hi. Uh, my arch is off by one block. <laughs> well, you'll get a chance to... Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so if you are interested in 
signing up for these classes, please let us know. Um, any further information, I can help you out there. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for um, So, is there an anvil anywhere? Is there an anvil? Uh, right now, if we're going to close down the server, we're going to move on. Uh, you guys probably have something to do for, at, you know, at night or something like that. Um, do you but, mind if I just leave my yeah, information right here. Right here? Next time you guys come in, we'll be able to fix anything you've got, and we'll be able to put anvils down or anything. Sorry, what was that, Meg? Uh, I'm just going to leave my information up here for a little bit, just for anyone, if they want to write it down. Absolutely. Contact the rest of, for them to take this class. Okay, guys, hope to see you next week. We want to build with you. I like how I'm finished. My email is disconnected. I'm out of trouble. Don't, don't punch anyone in the nose. Ah, I finished mine. Really good work, guys. Look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks, Brent. Thanks, Julian. Bye. Absolutely, yeah. Bye.